So let's see what a man who has never done anything in his life. I mean, actually, you know what? I should probably start off with like the beginning uh, a part of this. Let me give you a little bit of background. Simone Biles is an incredibly decorated Olympian, okay? And she is withdrawing from the uh, from individual all-around gymnastics competition at the Tokyo Olympics to focus on mental well-being. So when that happened, like a lot of people who are athletes immediately were like, you're dope don't worry about this it's understandable a lot of people who are previous gold medal winning gymnasts said basically that uh you know here's our level of support however there's the other side of this uh you know there's the other side of the take machine folks then on the other side you have people who have literally never engaged in an athletic endeavor in their entire lives like political commentators who consider getting up from the couch to pick up the iphone that's on their coffee table to be Olympic level Herculean feats of strength. Those guys, what did they think? I need to know what does Charlie Kirk think about Simone Biles taking a break for her mental health and well-being overall? Let's see. Let's Lundy's see what the no one asked Sandys had to say about this because I do want to hear it because I want to laugh at them. So Simone Biles, who's obviously a very talented gymnast, decided not to compete in the gold medal competition. Now, she probably could have just competed and just kind of checked the boxes and they would have got a gold medal. Simone Biles says, This Olympic Games, I wanted to be for myself when I came in, and I felt like I was still doing it for other people, as she cried after the team event on Tuesday. So that just, it like hurts my heart because doing what I love has been kind Happy of taken away from me to please other people. Yeah, that's the point, Simone Biles. You're representing your nation, you selfless, your selfish sociopath. Dude, you have literally never done anything positive for this country. How the fuck do you, where do you get off talking shit about like an Olympic gymnast, dude? She has done, even if I just go over like the nationalism uh, convo here, which is like, you're representing the nation, you Welcome. selfish sociopath. It's like, even before we, we, even if I take what he's saying at face value that like, you know, representing the nation is profoundly important, blah, 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 blah. It's like, what the fuck have you done to represent the nation? Oh, here he is, Charlie Kirk. In a now deleted tweet, this historic event will likely be one of the largest and most consequential in American history. The team at Trump students and Turning Point Action are honored to make this help make this happen sending 80 plus buses full of patriots of dc to fight for this president in a now deleted tweet this was in reference to the january 6th insurrection so like the only time this motherfucker's ever taken actual tangible action uh, it was against the american government okay so i don't know dog maybe you should shut the fuck up oh here is uh here's okay well yeah this is a good one too this is Charlie Kirk's uh, fucking commercial on uh, Fox News. Let's see, how athletic, ago, I... let's see how athletic this fucking tiny-faced, massive cranium dipshit is. Let's could see. could barely walk down the street or sit in a chair for more than 10 minutes without horrible pain. And now look at me. I'm here to tell you about Relief Factor, the 100% drug-free supplement that's helping tens of thousands of people, young and old, to get out and stay out of bro why don't you take a drug to make your fucking face appropriately sized for your cranium dude how about that is there a drug for that now i know it's funny coming from me i have a tiny head okay microcephaly it's a problem people make fun of me all the time for it you're body shaming and you're all canceled okay i'll say it fuck it i'm saying it you guys are ableist you guys are body shaming and it's fucked up guess what dude if you're fucking 26 like years old and you're having himself. a hard time getting up and shit, dude, I don't know, maybe reevaluate your life. Definitely don't shit on Olympic fucking gold medalist gymnasts that have represented the country. You don't know what the background is. You don't know what she's going through. Like, think about that. You have no fucking clue, and neither do I, to be honest. So it's wild to me. No one asks what she's going through. If you're going to represent the country, do so. Why not? Like, is this not a fucking human being? I, I don't understand. I actually don't get this. Like, look, I am a fucking animal. I'm an animal. I do not stop streaming ever. I'm streaming non-fucking stop. I have so much other shit going on in the background. But ultimately, if, if people want to fucking take breaks, if people want to preserve their well-being, I think this is something that should be supported. It, it, it should be supported. I, that's, it's Kirk that simple for me. I, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense, dude. If you're not all there mentally, which is an important part of the physical competition that you're engaging in, why risk? 
getting like absolutely comfortable. Like why risk fucking your whole life up, dude? I don't understand. And I think that's precisely why a lot of other athletes are coming out and defending this person, including an athlete I just learned about in the newest uh, segment that we're doing on the podcast where Will teaches me things about America. What's her face? The, the one from 1996 Olympic gymnastics team. Like, yeah, Carrie Strug. There's a really interesting story about Carrie Strug that Will brought up thought it was a good like segue into the story i'm like fucking leaking the podcast a little bit i should be teasing it more but people uh, couch potatoes like us are talking about like comparison between simone simone biles and carrie strug right talking about how like carrie strug went off of this like incredible feat okay put herself in harm's way and basically vaulted after she had uh, fractured her ankle she had fractured her ankle in the first vault and then she still competed and landed with with one foot like Mr. Miyagi shit, you know, like karate kid shit. Of course, people were saying like, whoa, look at that. Like, you know, remember watching Carrie Strug vault on an already damaged ankle? I was a teenager, but even then I knew there was something toxic about the culture and expectations of like her doing it. I hope Simone Biles is doing exactly what uh, she does. Carrie Strug was a hero for competing when she was able and Simone Biles is a hero for not competing. Okay, most of these are positive. Never mind. But this conversation started. But guess what? You know who fucking thinks that uh, what Simone Biles, uh, what she's doing is correct? and supports her motherfucking Carrie Strug, who then literally, if I'm not mistaken, didn't compete again. So like, yeah, she won, but then she was out. Here's the video of Strugs. We'll watch that right now, actually. Carrie Strug, it is up to her. If she can score- Oh my God, will I get DMCA'd for this actually? Like, are they fucking DMCAing Olympics with the 1996 era? I'm just gonna show you quickly. We're gonna go through it. She vaults, she lands, and she fucks her ankle up. And then she does it again, and this time she, literally lands on one foot and even has the wherewithal to go and and flex to the jury with one foot but yeah carrie strug agrees with simone biles round of rousey so many other uh like brilliant athletes incredible athletes are like no it's fucking good it's good that she's like you know open and honest about this instead of like pushing her pushing herself to to do this stuff here is kavitha a davidson saying Simone Biles won nationals with broken toes in both feet, worlds with a kidney stone, and has carried the burden of being a face of sexual assault survivors as a... Oh, God, what the f... Oh, no! Dude, I'm so scared. It's like showing in the background. Okay. Burden of being a face of sexual assault survivors as a national institution failed to support them. Half of y'all yelling about toughness can't handle wearing a mask in Wegmans. Oh, damn. That's a good-ass fucking tweet. That is literally a fire tweet, dude. Oh, with the Wegmans brand drop, too? Oh, my God. Literally every... Oh, that's such a good fucking angle, dude. God damn, that's such a good take. Dudes who literally up. think, like, wearing Six a mask at, at, at Wegmans are complaining Sergio. about fucking Simone Biles taking a mental break, dude. That's nuts. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's so good. Couch potato Andy's. All right, let's see what's kidding this me is. today. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to do something stupid and get hurt. It's just not worth it, especially when you have like three amazing athletes that can step up to the plate and do it. So, you know, who has the gold medal? Russia, Russia. So what, dude? Did their GDP grow, dumbass? It's literally meaningless. It's so meaningless. Yo, why don't you go out and tumble, motherfucker? How about that, dude? I made this joke already on the podcast, but listen, dude. Actually, I think Kai made it, but whatever. If you're gonna fucking talk shit, you have to do a cartwheel, okay? Or you have to do a handstand. You just have to. If you can do a cartwheel, then I'll hear it. Then I'll then I'll reconsider it, okay? That doesn't mean I'll agree with you, but at, at the very least, I'll be like, all right, you can do a cartwheel. Fuck it. Motherfuckers who can't do a pull-up, who can't touch their toes, who've never gotten off the goddamn couch, who've never done anything remotely competitive or athletic talking about, like, what the mental state is of an athlete. Like, you don't know, dude. You have no idea. I have to go look at these four foot eleven Russian Olympi Olymp Bro, Simone Biles is literally four eight. What the fuck is he talking about? Like we're talking about gymnastics, dog. Are you basically admitting that you don't know that gymnasts are like incredibly short? Simone Biles is shorter than the Russians. They're all four feet. Olympians chewing on their gold medals, smirking at the Americans. I'm not okay with that. But honestly, that's where we're headed. We are raising a generation of weak Russia people like Italy. Simone Biles. No Again, if you weak people bro weak people dude you literally have a fucking aneurysm anytime you oh, see man. like someone who is liberal dude you have an aneurysm when starbucks doesn't have merry christmas on the fucking coffee cups dude you're gonna say simone biles is weak dude get the fuck out of here dude oh god this is what this is the ultimate quintessential i'm such a fucking lazy piece of shit 
But I'm just gonna talk shit and backseat the Olympics take, dude. Shut the fuck up. If she got all these mental health problems, don't show up. She's an incredible athlete. Of course she's an incredible athlete. I'm not saying... I just said she's probably the greatest gymnast of all time. She's also very selfish. She's immature. And she is a shame to the country. I love that, dude. I love how... Dude, what a freak, dude. What a fucking absolute freak, dude. He has no comprehension of what he's saying right now. He's saying, like, this person who has already given so much to this fucking country is selfish because even from, like, a, like a maximizing uh, the, the outcome for the Olympics team point of view, like, what she's doing is still selfless, technically. But it is wild to me that the guy who's saying... Like, he has no self-awareness. Like, all he's done is try to ruin this fucking country. Don't make me point to the tweet again. I wonder if he'd have the same take about a veteran quitting a tour because of PTSD. Would he call them weak? Uh, probably. Because the ultimate hot couch guy is to just fucking be like, dude, I can't believe you. Like, you're so weak, dude. Another bad take on Simone Biles from your boy Zade. Oh, yeah, dude. Incredible takes from this guy. This tier of millennials who fail at stuff and get celebrated for it and sometimes demand to get celebrated for it should be exempted from public leadership. Go straight to Gen X, the Zoomers. Just for our national security... If any kind of public leader is talking about how hard they have it, they're failing at their job. Their job is to work for other people. Not everyone's cut out for leadership. Narcissism is a bad quality. Dude, brother, you guys have never done anything, dude. I mean, seriously. And and same goes for me. Like, I've done nothing. I've done nothing. I'm just a fucking idiot talking out of his goddamn ass, dude. Then look at all of the other public leaders that have actually done so much that we celebrate. They all seem to agree with Simone Biles' decision here. If a less skilled gymnast spoke up, they would say they're just a bad athlete. No, they wouldn't. The Republicans now would use that less skilled gymnast as like literally the best gymnast of all time. Because that's what conservatives do. It's about winning an argument. Look at this, bro. Look at this. Please look at this. Look at the amount of fucking gold medals she has, dude. Like you're talking shit about this person, dude. Come on. Come the fuck on, dude. Also, let's be real. Nobody gives a shit about the Olympics. Okay, I don't. I certainly don't. Like if we don't settle this at some point, there'll just be a president who walks away from a diplomatic summit in China. I just can't. Sorry, self-care folks. And then there's a nuclear exchange and we're all dead. This will definitely be a real thing that will happen, dude. Thanks, Zade. One, she's not the fucking president. Two, Ronald Reagan allegedly had Alzheimer's, dude. I don't want that motherfucker running the country. Yes, take a back seat, okay? Literally take a fucking mental break. I would much rather have in this like fantasy world that he has created where like presidents are negotiating nuclear disarmament with other world leaders. Like, like it's a fucking child. Like this dude literally worked at think tanks and he has such a childish approach to foreign policy. I I hilarious. Yes, I would rather have Someone not having like a fucking manic state or a depressive state deal with the fucking foreign adversary and allow someone else in his team to just, uh, you know, take over. You want to know why Simone Biles is the greatest of all time? She quit the Olympics right now. She's still the goat. That's why. Okay. That's why, motherfucker. How many do you have? Explain to me how many you have. Cool. She still acts like a child running from this. Totally, dude. Absolutely, dude. You're a Twitch chatter. Like, you are literally... You're not even brave enough to put your actual fucking uh, face and name out there so you can talk shit freely on the internet, okay? Your opinion is so incredibly worthless in this conversation, and I'm only using it as an opportunity to make fun of you. No, I'm not gonna ban him. That's a pet. It's just crazy, man. Like, it's just crazy to just be like, dude, I can't believe it. Like, I can't believe this person's fucking quitting. Like, she's just quitting. What she's totally this? a sociopath. Of course she's a sociopath. Andrew says Sweet she's not a sociopath. Up. What kind of person skips the gold medal match? Who does that? It's a shame to the nation. You just gave Keep a gift on. to the Russians. Don't show up. If you're not ready for the big time, we got thousands of young female gymnasts that would love. First of all, unironically, they're nowhere. Like, she's number one. So, I mean, not really. Like, the fact that she showed up to begin with, regardless of her mental health problems and whatnot, is, oh, you know. Man. Simone Biles just showed the rest of the nation that when things get tough, you shatter into a million pieces. Dude, it's just, it, it's funny. I think people will, I think people will recognize this because it's like annoying neck bearded nerds who are saying stuff like this for the most part. You know what I mean? It's literally like, dude, if you're talking shit, if you're talking shit like this, if you're like backseating a fucking Olympic athlete like this, like you're just, you're, you know, you're an idiot. Also here, here's like actual data on this. On Simone quitting on her team, she actually saved it. Her vault scored a 13.76 is brutally low. It was 0. 534 below her teammates and 0 0.700 below the lowest Russian score. Russia took a commanding 1.067 lead because of it. US can't win silver if she's scoring like that. Files, I was like, I'm not in the right headspace. I'm not going to lose a medal for this country. 
in these girls because they worked way too hard to have me go out there and lose a medal. She had no confidence she would score well. I didn't want to go into the other events and, uh, and not believing in myself. So I thought it was better to take a step back and let other girls do the job. And they did. So what this person is doing, what this person is doing in this situation is just basically like, look, I'm not in the right headspace. I can't compete. I don't want to risk injury. And also, and I, I want to make sure that other people on the team that are more qualified can, you know, take my place instead. That's leadership. Like leadership is knowing when you need to step down and let others take the lead. After the vault, the Russians had a big lead that would nearly be impossible to overcome. That was her stated reasoning. Gymnastics is a unique sport. Strange to imagine her hurting the team, but she was. The goal was almost assuredly gone after Simone's vault. The US wound up, wound up with silver. Nothing bad happened. She caused her teammates nothing. On the last, one last thing on the Biles vault, it was so pedestrian. Only one other gymnast out of 48 attempted an easier vault and only three scored lower. At that point, Simone, best of all time, was one of the worst gymnasts there. If that continues on bars, then the silver is in jeopardy. Meanwhile, charlie kirk's org yeah this is what the guy talking shit about simone biles like is famous for this okay he's famous for wearing a fucking diaper on kent state i think part of it is because we just don't treat mental health in the same way that we treat uh physical issues physical complications and that's a huge problem that is part of the reason if if simone biles had her fucking you know shoulder uh, ripped out of its socket and she couldn't compete no one would be like oh my god you're so fucking selfish when it comes to the invisible damage caused by mental health complications, and I'm going to take her word for it because this is a big decision that she had, she made to not fucking compete. We rarely ever consider it in the same vein, except in a lot of instances, in a lot of fucking instances, the mental health issues that she might be going through unironically lead to physical complications. Like why? She's not, she's not supposed to fucking throw her body out there for literally no reason other than like Charlie Kirk feeling good that we might have uh, beat Russia. That's nuts. That's absolutely fucking nuts, dude. Fuck you. I mean, seriously, fuck you. We'll get to the absolutely insane. Yeah, and she did win with broken toes in the past. So like now she's done her time, but it feels like she did it for mental health. According to her side of the story, which is never getting covered by these fucking reactionary shitlords, she's also doing it to make sure the team has uh, better chances. So many people are shitting on her online and calling her a coward. It's disgusting. Like, you have fucking told you, dude. I fucking told you, Joe Rogan, would have a good take on this. I told you, Joe Rogan, would have a good take on this. There's no shot. He fucking deals with athletes on a daily basis. There is no fucking way he was going to be like, yeah, she's fucking sucks. 